morning, everybody. And good morning, ladies. There you go. Thank you, scratch, scratch. Another beautiful morning. A bit cloudy today. That's all right. We're going to go and open a new paddock of maize today. We should hopefully get around once. <laughs> hopefully with a single row chopper. Yeah, all good. The girls are on their way. Shall we get to milking? How was your weekend? Good. That's the one, that's the one. Good morning washing the yard. We have to wait a little bit longer because of um, it being so dark this morning. It's quite, it looks like there's going to be a bit of rain today actually. Here's big girl first. Oh, she having fun? He's a good friendly girl. Fatso. <laughs> yeah, Fatso. It's her nickname. Looks like we've got some rain rolling over. That was unexpected. Better be cloudy all day. Didn't expect it to rain. Right, we should get back to it. Last row coming in. My girls, up we go. Come on. Come on. On you, come on. Come on, push, push, come on. Go on, girls, up we go. Single file, single file. It's another one of our top little heifers, this one. Hey, girl. You're a friendly little heifer, too, ain't you? Good girl, up you go. 216, always caps it off, don't you, girl? Come on. Good girl. And another friendly one. Half the herd's damn friendly. Come on, up we go. Come on. Gonna start the next part of the yard over there. Come on. Yeah, putting it through now. What? Doing alkali today, Monday, alkali, hypo, and an acid, so bomb wash today. Awesome. Going great. Then we'll shoot down and go and uh, open up this new paddock of maize. Not sure which paddock, what dad wants to go into, but we'll pick one of them. Awesome, and I'll show you something as well. So this is meant to be all uh, powdery, I showed you, remember? Dad said the hose fell into it. Look at it all foamed up. <laughs> oh, well. That's part of it, that is part of it. So all of our chemicals we use are all food grade chemicals. That means you're able to wash anything that's um, used for the production of food. Dad must be just going to sharpen it. Got a sharpening blade in there as part of the uh, mace chopper. And then sharpening blade. Just must just finish sharpening. See that piece you pushed in? That piece there goes through and you can sharpen the blades that way on that second row chopper. Didn't, uh, didn't sharpen. We were trying to get it to work and as our daughter daddy said it must be seized in there the uh, sharpener. Well yeah, yeah, he used the sharpener last time we used a single row chopper, not maybe the last few panics but before that. So um, we'll have to use it. Let's carry on. She's not too bad. She just does need a little bit of sharpening but it should be alright to open up these next two panics. Then hopefully, hopefully We'll get the other uh, two row chopper going again. That's all right. We'll carry on. Gonna go down, load up with some maize. Opening up a new paddock today. We're gonna get into the corson today. Open her up. And then, um, as Dad said, if we get the two row chopper going, we'll probably open up Pioneer as well. So we don't have to take the uh, single row chopper off again. Single row chopper on it. Awesome. This is always fun.
Who's like a minnows operator? Oh no. Down there, yeah. There's a lot of maze down there, is there? They're not sinking yet, which is lucky. Now we're looking back there. See if we can get out of here. We should be able to. It's a nice big gateway. Gone in there somewhere. There he is, there. Just gonna load it, hook up to the uh, tractor, check the size valve on. Off, we gotta go shift the irrigator. Got our load all ready to go there. Um, we sent another 3,799 litres today. Still waiting in our lime. More lime are coming. Another two truckloads still to come. Okay. Yeah. We've done 100,000, 400,000, Yep. Last year, 100,639. So catching up. And the year before that was 104,000, Jeez. Ah, yeah. We've got 200 solids to go to catch last season and the season before was the best season we've ever done and that's still ahead by 4,000 solids. So that season was a very good one. I know that we'll catch that 125,000 milk solids is what we did that year. Uh, this year we're going to do probably 120 at the moment if everything keeps going the way it is. Last season was 115,000. Got back, just had to shoot into the local township and go and um, see how the motorbike was going, was getting the service. So now we're going to go and put up a fence in number three and shift the irrigator. The irrigator is going from the paddock behind the red shed here into the um, into a paddock number seven, which is about 300 metres down the race, so not too far. Beautiful over growing in those white heads, sea heads, pitch of clover. Got our standards, just walking out the tape. I made sure I put on the motorbike so I don't have any issues. And we go for, see the little tree in the middle? We aim for the tree just to the right. The little tree is bang on halfway. The next one over is just past it. Okay, and we've got to switch over the irrigator. There we, are. we just hook it onto the uh, hedge here. 
make sure he's tough, nice and strong. Yeah. Right, work our way back this way. But before we do that, just switch over the irrigator. Just like that. So now that's going to go down that way. And we're putting our irrigator back into paddock number seven because the irrigator is going to come in here once I've grazed this paddock off. Just put these standards in. We go down here, we're gonna go 21, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 paces and the standard cows are grazing on the right hand side. So put the standard that way so that the foot is on this side so that when they push against it, it'll bounce back. If you go that way, sometimes the foot can actually pull out. So you want them, if they push on it, they got to push that way. They shouldn't touch it, it's nice and electrified. Soon, not yet. <laughs> this one here, to get it electrified, you go like that, because there's plastic that stops it from electrifying the actual tape, the poly wire there. So put it on, that kind of here. And you wrap it around it so that it electrifies through the steel and electrifies that whole bit there. Easy, right. Shall we go through and uh, Set up the irrigator now. Yes, the irrigator got very close to the uh, driveway. It was actually going on the driveway. <laughs> That's all right. No hassles. Just like that. We'll shift her over now and we'll take these pipes and put them over by that hedge line over there. Through the hedge so that we can set her up for tomorrow. Better of putting the pipes like that through the hedge. Grab the other one, put it through in the same spot around that area. Yeah, we don't want to get too close to this hedge or else, um, We don't want to get too close to this hedge because there may still be some uh, little barbs and things from the, when the hedge got trimmed still in the ground and as you see even some of the cows don't really graze that until it's died down a bit. Here it is. Take the hose off and put it through the hedge. because it was going into the tank just before. So now, we're gonna go put it on in the paddock. His dad switched it over to the tank when the irrigator finished on the weekend, had its last run. So, we'll probably be shifting the irrigator into this paddock probably two to three days time once the cows have grazed it off. It's good, it works really well, natural. Nice easy day today, but we did have to shoot to town and get some stuff done in the local town. See you all at Mookie tonight. 
you this neighbour's maze. Tom's been around it once. Didn't pick up too much, but he got a little bit. But um, yeah, they had to pull out because they kept getting stuck. The girls are coming, just there. And um, washed the vat, went well. It was been a slight drizzle all afternoon, so. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Right, let's get to milking. Just Hello, on. All looking going good. And we'll have a look up here. Eat, eat meal. Good girls. Right. See These girls are walking out very well tonight, eh? Give you a 200. We call her Dinky Hip. There you see. This place to hip would have been two years ago. She healed up real well and she's gone through mating and she's done really good. No, that's unfortunate, but she's going good. Have no issues at all since. There he is, washing up. Yep, nice and cool out here. Alright, let's go. My girls, in you come. It was all successful this afternoon. We're just going to go down and feed out to the girls now. Um, just be wary that there is a bit of bloat around now. I had a mate message me this morning. He lost one of his cows to bloat. So just be careful. The girls aren't too far away. The cow shed's right there. And they're right here. So not too far to travel in the morning. Uh, yeah, all going well though. All going well. So... Um, It'll be pretty quick turning around in here. The girls might think we're going to start feeding out in here. That would not go well. This young regrowth from the grass. This paddock being recently grazed only about two weeks ago. We are feeding out. Good to see the girls happy, fed, fat. They're leaving a lot of grass behind at the moment, which is good. Grass grows grass. So with that, like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you.